Hey guys, um, today we are going to be doing a quick little video on how to delete the cassette player. Uh, when you go to an aftermarket head unit, which I'm going to be doing next weekend, uh, the cassette player doesn't work. And let's be real, no one uses a cassette player anymore. Um, so this is just kind of a quick little easy thing. Um, but just so someone doesn't go break and stuff or whatever, what you do is you open this, your factory lower cubby and there's two seven millimeter screws in here and you just pull those out and then you just grab something to pry this plastic cover off here pop on both sides up top here once you get to this point um, where you're ready to pull the cassette out there's two little tabs right here you just push them down on either side already got kind of loose because um, it's next to impossible to do with both hands Apparently you find money in your dash and an old CD. Poor Kevin. Hmm. Don't know who Kevin is, but you're missing a CD. Huh. No promises on finding the $3. Huh. Anyway. To go to the back man that is dirty go to the back um pretty simple just standard connector kind of a pain to get out depending if it's never been done unhooked before and that's pretty much it you do not need this guy just tuck it back up in the dash where your cassette player was this is just like a eight dollar amazon special and it literally just slides in there you'll kind of feel it snap into place like so that's what it should look like now to put this on you stick that side up rotate it back down it just clips in reinstall your screws which are again seven millimeters. But it just, it actually fits really nice in there. Um, it's definitely big enough to like just have your phone sitting in there or whatnot, but it just kind of cleans it up from having the factory cassette player. So just another one of those things I've seen a couple questions on. The Facebook pages and whatnot. Um, another it's just real simple, quick, easy video. So thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe.